This video was created in partnership with Franke Kitchen Systems. What's up everybody, Chef Billy Parisi here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an absolutely delicious tuna poke tostada recipe. Let's go. I'm all about prepping first before it comes time to cooking. This is called mise en place, which in French translates to everything in its place. So what I'm gonna do first is rinse off all my vegetables I'm using this amazing Franke roller mat, which we literally always use in our house. And the nice Franke hose with gooseneck faucet to make sure everything's clean on all sides. So once all of your vegetables are washed, go ahead and bring them back over to the cutting board. And the first thing we're gonna do is begin slicing and dicing. So I've got some green onions bunched up, which we are gonna slice as thin as we possibly can. It's gonna be used in the marinade for our tuna poke. Go ahead and set it to the side in a bowl. Next, we're gonna medium dice up a cucumber. Normally I would probably peel it, but because this recipe is all about freshness and using ahi tuna, I wanna have that nice crunch and that peel on the outside of the cucumber is gonna get that to us. Scoop out the seeds, and like I said, we want to medium dice it. This makes it about a third to a half of an inch all the way around. So think of a perfect third inch square, if you will. Once you get it to that size, or try as best you can to get it there, also set it to the side in a bowl. Now we're going to get started on our pineapple. You obviously do not need an entire pineapple for this recipe, but, well, why not? So to trim it really quickly, cut off the ends, and then using your knife, you want to take off the skin, get down a couple layers because you want to get all the brown off of it. And next, we're going to take some nice slices. Like I said, about a third inch. We want to treat it just like we did the cucumber. Slice it in that exact same manner. Once it is diced up, we're doing literally everything like we did before. We want to put it in bowls to the side because when it comes time to assemble, everything's done, everything's ready to roll. This is the best way to cook. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of radish and using a mandolin on the thinnest uh, lever possible, if you will, slice it ridiculously thin. It's just better this way. Radishes just taste better when they're thinly sliced. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just me. We've got some tricolored radishes, purple, pink, white. We're gonna put in a bowl. Next, we're gonna add in some water. This helps keep the color and the crunch. Very important to do this. So go ahead and do that. And then next, go back to the cutting board. I've got some fresh ginger. Just gonna give it a little trim, get rid of the skin. You could absolutely use a paring knife to trim it up a little bit closer to the meat in the inside, but for time intensive purposes, just cut it, uh, remove the skin. <laughs> and next go to over to a microplane and grate it up. And this is gonna help, uh, get, help it get really fine and totally edible and not big and overpowering. We get into our tuna poke. Last, before we get over to that tuna, we're going to make a quick chili garlic mayo. So add some mayonnaise to a bowl, followed up with some chili garlic sauce. If you're not sure what this is, it's amazing. It was around before sriracha, but if you only have sriracha, that'll work as well. Just make sure you temper it to your spicy desire. And now we've got some sashimi grade tuna, extremely fresh in the ocean yesterday. You can eat this raw. That's the point of it. This is perfect for sushi. What we want to do in the same way we did the pineapple and the cucumber, we want to medium dice it. So make little third inch squares, slice it one way, go back the other and dice it up. And once it is completely diced up, all of the tuna, I've got about a pound and a half here. So we're going to add it right to a large bowl where we can begin to make our tuna poke, which is really the process of adding in more ingredients. And because we're using raw fish, don't forget to wash your hands and wash your knife and your cutting board. You know, uh, it's very important to do this when using raw protein. And like I said, we use the Franke roller mat for a number of things. We use it also to dry dishes. It works perfectly, rolls right over our sink. All right, get those hands dried up and let's add some soy sauce for some wonderful, salty, delicious flavor, followed up with some rice wine vinegar. Next, we're gonna hit in some soy sesame oil, which is gonna provide some wonderful flavor to our tuna poke. And that fresh ginger we grated up is gonna add just a, just a pounding freshness taste to it, along with the lime juice, followed up with some green onions, mix it together, and you want it to marinate for at least five minutes so what I suggest is just throw it in the refrigerator 
let it keep cool uh, while we go back and finish up our corn tortillas. So hit in the fridge, just keep it cool. Next, add a pan to a burner over medium heat, add in some canola oil because what we wanna do next is fry up our corn tortillas. This is gonna act as the tostada on the bottom. It doesn't take but maybe 30 to 45 seconds on medium heat uh, to cook our corn tortilla. You just wanna make sure that it's nice and crispy. Don't overcook it, it'll get very brown. Once it is to your desired crunchiness, go ahead and set it to the side on some paper towels to drain. And now it's time to assemble. I'm gonna serve everything up on a nice long cutting board. It's just gonna look really pretty. So add our tostadas over there, followed up with some of our tuna poke, which looks and tastes amazing. You're gonna absolutely love it. Next, add in our sliced radishes, diced cucumbers, followed up with some pineapple, avocado. Next, we're gonna add on that chili garlic mayo. I just put it in a squeeze bottle so I can just drizzle it right on with ease. I'm gonna finish it off with some microgreens. This is just for color. These are radish microgreens, so they add a little bit more radish flavor. And simply, I'm gonna garnish with limes, and boom, we are finished. You wanna talk about an amazingly refreshing appetizer? I mean, this thing is ridiculous. It's perfectly in season for spring and summer. It's loaded with flavor. It's incredibly easy to make. I mean, you're talking 30 minutes from start to finish for this. And what a cool dish to serve up to people. This isn't your average appetizer, man. People are going to go crazy for this. You could even eat it as an entree. Loaded with protein and vegetables. It's phenomenal. And of course, in good fashion, always got to give you a nod and take a little bite. And golly, is it good. Um, just loaded with tons of flavor. The nice saltiness from the soy and the heat from the mayo is just a, a wonderful balance guys thanks so much for tuning in today be sure to come back and see all my videos and for more great recipes and ideas hit up billyparisi.com